What's up, y'all? It's your girl Chanel from Complex Simplicity, and welcome back to another segment of Candid Talk with Chanel. That's right, Candid Talk with your girl. <laughs> so I have a thought-provoking question, but before I ask it, I'm going to paint a picture for you so you get where I'm going. 2017 is approaching us in a matter of days, and there are some of us, or even a lot of us, who want to be able to meet our significant other, who we're meant to be with, who we're meant to go through this thing called life with, who we're going to marry, who we're gonna be in a committed relationship with. And we all have what we call, or what I like to refer to as internal lists, where we have all the qualities that we want for that person to have. Personality qualities, physical qualities, how they look, all those things. And what I find is at times, some of us are, willing to negotiate on the areas that are, we really shouldn't, such as um, things with the personality, the person's behavior, how they treat us. And we're more than not, not willing to negotiate on how they look, the physical attributes of the person, physical appearance. And I find myself saying to a lot of my single girlfriends and just single people that I know in general, that Nine out of 10 times, my belief is who God truly has for you, the best match for you may not fit into the box, right? That you have when it comes to their physical attributes. And I always use myself as an example. I was that girl that loved and was very much so attracted to men who were tall and dark. I'm a tall girl. I'm 5'11". I wanted them to be six foot two and better. And I loved like that Tyre Tyrese, Tyrese, what am I thinking? I love that Tyrese, Morris Chestnut, Tay Diggs, like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate skin. <laughs> now I ended up marrying the love of my life who I am super attracted to, who is my height and who is high yellow y'all, meaning he's fair skin. I love men with dark Caesar haircuts. My husband is bald, okay? And I'm just as attracted to him as I was. I'm more attracted to him than I was people in my past, right? Who fit my criteria and mode of what I physically was attracted to in men. Now, I often use myself as that example because I really feel in the depths of my heart that there are times where we can truly miss out on an amazing, significant other that God may have for us because we're not willing to um, open our minds and date someone who may not fall into the box or physical criteria that we set forth in our minds. Um, you know, I know there may be a lot of you out there who disagree with me and I'm not saying to settle and be, deal with, deal with, sorry, or be with someone who you're not attracted to. What I'm saying is the person who may really be for you may not be what you would have thought, but you will be extremely attracted to them still. I also find that developing a friendship with someone first, getting to know them when you're just cool, your friends works out a little better than just automatically jumping into the dating situation. Everybody has different love stories, I get it. But um, I wanted to share that with you. So my thought provoking question is this, do you agree um, or would you be willing if you're single out there in 2017 to say, you know what? I'm gonna start dating outside of my box, right? There's certain attributes that are not negotiable. I get that, how someone treats you, right? Their level of emotional maturity, how they treat their own family, mama, kids, if they have kids, all that. Those things are non-negotiable. But I'm talking about things that are not that serious, right? Would you be willing to give it a date or give it a try with someone who you might not have typically gone for because you're like, oh, that's not my type. He ain't tall and dark. Or she ain't short and, you know, and thin. Or, you know, this person, I only date Hispanic men. Or I only date white women. Or I only date Asian men. Or I only date Asian women. You know what I'm saying? Like, would you be willing to step out of that box? Because you never know who may truly be for you. Let me know what you think about this. It's a very controversial, very deep subject, and I wanna hear from you. Comment under this blog, let your girl know. For my single people, would you be willing to kind of step away from that box? And for my married people, or people who are in um, committed relationships, 
would do you understand where I'm going with this or where I'm coming from? Is the person that you're with, your significant other or your spouse, did they fit your exact criteria for how you physically wanted the person to look or are they way to the left? I have to even say with my husband, of course he thinks I'm beautiful, because you know, <laughs> just playing. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think that I was quite his type either, okay? I'm a quirky dresser. I'm that girl that likes to rock fleece jackets all day, every day in the winter time. I'm that girl who likes to wear different kinds of hairstyles. I'm quirky sometimes with how I wear what I wear. And he had to get used to that. But he was like, nah, but she's a dope person and I think she's beautiful, you know? So we kind of both were outside of the box realm that we might have had as far as the people we were attracted to. So let me know, hit me up, comment. Let's have this conversation, y'all. It's important to have some deep pre-holiday talk. <laughs> And continue to head to the website, complexsimplicity.com. Until next time.